up YouTube, it's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. Today's video is Patron Pick of the Month and for this month they have chosen Kenton Chen singing Your Power by Billie Eilish. Let's go. I promise I'll rewind. I've never heard the song, so I don't know where a good time to pause is. Um, first thing I would love is if anyone in the comment section can please let me know who these two gentlemen are that are playing the instrumentals. Are they part of a band? What are their names? That would be great for me. I have never heard the original, so I'm super curious to know how this differentiates from Billie Eilish's song. Whatever the case is, I am totally in love with this arrangement. First, I loved how it started with just the beat, and then you heard the beautiful piano come in, just so simple. I don't know what the notes were, but it was a beautiful leap within the right hand. And then let's talk about Mr. Kenton Chen. My God, I was not expecting that voice. What is very, very powerful about what he is doing, first off, is the way that he is emoting. So right off the bat, you saw that his eyes went in this super um, focused area and he sang his first line and he didn't look away from that, from that area. And then in contrast, there was a really nice dynamic of change when he decided to look at the camera. That small shift in eye focus really shows the power of emotion and he's doing it in such a subtle way but it says so much then his voice his voice is like delicate but like grasping at the same time two very awesome features to have within a voice i find that this style of singing is actually pretty popular so if you notice when he's singing he actually doesn't really open his mouth too much. It even looks like his um, upper and lower teeth are more closer together than, let's say, normal. I find that this is a very stylistic way of singing and is very popular now. And what that does is it allows him to really control the sound in a much more dynamic way than if your mouth was just kind of totally open all of the time. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. This works in a fantastic way. I will say the one drawback of this type of style of singing is it's hard to understand the words. I personally have never heard this song, so I really am honing my ear on every word he is saying, as well as the way he is moving his mouth to try and pick up what exact words he is saying. Some I just can't understand. It is what it is. So the lyrics are, try not to abuse your power. I know we didn't choose to change. I want to focus on these two lines. The moment he switched from the words, 
try not to abuse your power, there's a slight pause, and then it goes into, I know. The way that he's saying the word I specifically caught my attention like no other because it almost, he, he literally didn't even really move. So it's almost like the sound kind of came out of nowhere. And then you really saw his mouth and um, face move on the word no. Try not to abuse the power. I know we didn't choose to change. I really like it because it goes hand in hand with this melancholy type of tone that is being portrayed right now. You can see he's very deep in focus. She was sleeping in your clothes. Mm -hmm. And now she's got to get to class out there. Okay, I feel like I am getting so many different types of candy, all just beautiful cherries on tops that I was not expecting. One, I love the grit that he just sang uh, in this part where we just stopped. Two, I love the glottal attacks he is giving, as well as just the cracks when moving back and forth between different parts of his register. It sounds just very intentional and it sounds controlled. My God, it's so good. And then three, his tone, top notch for, for a guy singing a song in this range. When you hear him singing in his upper register, especially when the chorus, I believe, oh, um, yes, when the your power part came back into play, the crystal clearness of his upper note, oh, you can tell that he is giving a gorgeous proportion of brightness and darkness, a little bit more on the brighter side, which is totally fine. And what I love about this is that it lets my ear know that he actually has quite a few notes higher than the highest note that he is singing, which brings just a sort of comfortability when, when listening to someone sing this song in this key. Can we go back to the grit? Because I need to know what words those were on. Control for you to keep her in a cage and you swear you didn't know. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. I have to say, I think the reason why I was so taken aback by this uh, grit on the word, something about cage, keeping you in your cage, for you to keep her in a cage. It was gorgeous because it was a buildup, right? From the get-go, you just start with a very simple sound, just a beat and the piano. Then his voice is introduced, but in almost a very um, held back, delicate way, still though very pure. And now it's led up to where we are more than halfway through the song and you can see his emotions are 
are um, being elevated as the song is gradually progressing. One, that's through eye contact or taking away that eye contact that is shifting his eye contact to show a different type of focus. Three, that's also in the way that he is choosing to project his sound and take away his sound. And then four, it's also by introducing different types of techniques, whether that is using the glottal attack, using um, more cracks within his voice, or also by adding this grip. to hear in a performance a gradual transition to show you are going somewhere emotionally within the song does it keep you in control for you to keep her in a cage and you swear you didn't know you said you thought she was your age how dare you That was a performance I genuinely didn't want to end. I, I, I just can't reiterate this not enough. His upper register is spectacular. He really knows when to transition and use mixed voice. And then he also knows when he wants to take that away and just add more head voice into a sound. Those conscious decisions is actually very important in practicing to know, hey, on this exact note at this time, I'm gonna choose to put in more mixed voice. And then when it comes back around, I'm gonna add some more head voice to give some sort of dynamic contrast. And it's important to practice those things in practice so that you're not totally thrown off when you go and put this in a live performance. Granted, once you do this, um, a fair amount of times, it will therefore make you more comfortable to make these decisions in live performances as improvisation. Fantastic, kudos. I, patrons, I'm so glad you are showing me new artists, new songs. I also haven't heard the song by Billie Eilish. Thank you for, for introducing me to this artist. I am genuinely very curious about this artist this artist's journey, where they are, and also who is accompanying him in this performance. Fantastic. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Please comment down below any underrepresented or up and coming artists that you know of that you would love me to do a performance analysis video on. Lastly, make sure you check out the description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks such as Patreon and or take a lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.